Hello guys. Today we are going to start to how to create a system models in the mathematical perspectives which we call it the equation of motion. Equation of the motion is related to what this is the dynamic of two mathematical notation plus physical notation and what is that the mathematical notation which is related to the equation and the motion is directly related to the physical notation it's the newton law or the bernoulli equation or the heat transfer equation and so if we create a pattern which includes the both these two things and uh, we can call it the equation of motion of some model or some realis realistic model in the real life application okay and so if we have the such kind of system like the mass spring damper system in here which relates formula and if we apply the force to the mass with the direction of x and so we can create a dynamic equation of motion related to to this physical phenomena okay and so in this uh, lesson or in this course uh, we will try to understand the how we can select the mass parameter spring parameter and damping ratio and how can we create or establish the mathematical model in MATLAB simulating application or the programming techniques okay and so <coughs> if we have this kind of system we can write it down as the dynamic of it can be obtained by what it's the Newton law okay and so if we have the force parameter in here and so force is the input variable in this system and so the force must be consumed by the these coefficients of physical realities okay and so m is directly related to the x dot dot acceleration of these things which is given by the newtons and so the c x dot is a plus term because the whole the relation are in parallel form which means that if we push the mass parameter and so m consumes the energy c consumes the energy k consumes the energy form of these things okay and so we can add the k times x in here k is the spring coefficient of these things and then we can write it down like this one okay the and so <coughs> as we described in the previous lessons we can create some pattern or the some calculation related to these coefficients because these coefficients can be calculated by what firstly shape parameter selection in real life application and so the secondly we can select the 3d dimension size form in the real life application okay and so in the universe or in the Descartes axis form whole object can have or 
must have the tree this size and uh, all material is with the specific relation or the specific coefficient of something such as the density or elasticity this can be described by the material properties of these things and so if you model the any system by using these coefficients and so we need to calculate the mass damping ratio and k coefficients and so we should establish to what firstly calculate the mck and so in the second place we should transfer this equation of motion into the transfer function mode and or state space representation this is are the main course objective of this course okay and so with the start of these things the equation of motion can be obtained by like this phenomena but we should calculate the correct form of the mass spring and damping ratio coefficients and so one is related to the mass selection in here and so <coughs> in order to calculate the mass in the 3d dimension every object has the 3d size okay x y z and so if we have the such kind of object like this one and so we can say that the any axis x d y d z d can be represented to what the dimension of this object and so if we are trying to create or if we are trying to calculate the mass parameter selection in here and mass is equal to what mass is equal to rho times v and so rho is directly related to the density factor in here v is equal to the volume value of these things in real life application and so if we select the density of this parameter and then we can obtain the density coefficients or density value of this material in real life application and so if we select or choose the dimension of these objects and so we can calculate the volume value of these things and so relate to the mass can be obtainable at now okay and so <coughs> if you are trying to calculate the volume value the volume is equal to what xd yd zd and so in your application the mass or the this object's uh, shape may be changed but if you are using the geometry or trigonometry you can easily calculate the volume value of these objects okay and so we can assign the some specific values to these dimensions for example x dot xd is equal to what so xd is equal to 0 0.1 meter yd is equal to 0 0.1 meter zd is equal to 0 0.1 meter and so you can select the different value to the z or y or x but I can choose this and so the total volume value is the what 1.0.1 over 3 is equal to what 10 over minus 3 meter over cube okay and so <coughs> we can select the row value is equal to the what the 1 kilograms divided by metric cubes and so if we can obtain 
or if we want to calculate the mass parameter and so rho times v should be times and so we have the one kilograms to relate to the what the mass of this system dynamics model in the real life applications okay and so <coughs> In the second place, uh, we should follow with the, what the spring factor of these things. But this term uh, is calculated or will be calculated in the next lesson because we need to understand how can we calculate the correct spring coefficients in the specific dimension of these objects. Okay?